Hi everyone. So a new AI bot called ChatGPT is really famous nowadays, and uh, it is so good that it is able to answer programming questions also. You can ask him. You can ask it uh, some programming question. You can ask it to generate a, uh, some Python program or C plus plus program or any other program, and it is really giving some accurate answers. And it, this chatbot is so famous. This AI bot is so famous that people is saying that it can replace Google search engine also. because it can offer human like alternative to search engines so let so we will be trying today how good it is right so we'll be asking it some basic programming stuffs basic programming uh, pro, uh, basic c++ or python programs to assess whether it is good as it is being said or not so first of all i will ask it to write a c++ program to print all the even numbers print all the even numbers from 1 to 10 right so it's a very easy but in start let's start with the easy problem so the response was pretty accurate pretty fast time mean. <laughs> it is also accurate right okay so it was able to do let us ask some more tougher question write a c++ program to print all prime numbers but when 1 to n so ask let us ask in terms of generic equation uh, generic variable right not some particular number okay so this response was also fast so it is generate it is like uh, making a separate function so it's a good programming practice If n is two, return true. If n is less than equal to one, true false. Okay. Max S Q R T. Yeah, this was also good. Yeah, it is also taking the input <laughs> in friendly way. And this program defines a, and it is also explaining this. So you can see that uh, clearly there is no difference between a human and uh, this bot, right? and it is pretty fast like you <laughs> very few people will code this so fast and write this response uh, write this description so let us ask uh, a question that require more context so let it uh, let us ask to find the find all the armstrong numbers between 1 to n and armstrong number you may have heard that armstrong numbers are basically those numbers uh, whose digits when raised to the number of digits in this number and sum together gives the same number so this is the definition let's ask whether let us see whether it is able to do that or not write a c++ program write a c++ program to find all the armstrong numbers but when 1 to n Else, sum is no no Armstrong numbers from one to n, just that. Okay. After that, we will if it is able to answer this, we will be asking some two variable problem, right? So it is taking time. It is but uh, this response is not as fast. Okay, it gave the answer. Is Armstrong digit? It is finding the number of digits. How did it got the digit? Stamp equals to num. If num. Okay. So basically, it is using the definition that uh, Armstrong number is. A number whose digit when raised to the power three equals to the same sum. Okay, so somewhere this definition is used because most uh, most commonly three digit numbers are seen, but the definition varies, right? So in some, let us ask this question, the same question again, to see whether the answer is always same or not. in many places the definition is that instead of raising it to 3 we raise it to the number of digits in that number okay it 
it looks like you asked the same question again i provided an answer okay so it is able to remember also that which question i asked it okay so let us ask some python stuff right uh, python program to print all the file names in a directory okay so we can use it by importing voice module okay yeah it is giving the exact same it is getting the correct directory it is getting all the files in correct directory and it is printing okay that is good that is good so it is able to solve programming stuffs at least basic programming stuffs so let us ask some basic questions this programming ability is really good which country is the largest country which country is the largest country in the world so answer is russia let's see okay it is able to give this also so guys it is really good in answering but there is one question which it uh, it answers incorrectly so let me show you guys and it, the answer given by it is really dumb so even if it may be the most intelligent bot ever but there are many questions which it answers wrong so is it heavier a kg of gold or a kg or a 2 kg of paper so you know since 2 kg of paper has weight 2 kg and 1 kg of gold has one weight 1 kg so 2 kg of paper is heavier right but the answer is that <laughs> but the answer given by this is that 1 kg of gold would be heavier and it is saying that gold is a dense metal so okay like this response this reason is not a good reason right it is saying that gold is a dense metal and so one kilogram will be much smaller in volume than two kg of paper however density of gold is much much higher than density of paper a kilogram of gold would still be heavier so yeah it is a really dumb answer and you can find some people and uh, when you will be asking some people like whether one kg of gold is heavier or one kg of paper they may say that one kg of gold is heavier because uh, they have got some bias like <laughs> gold is gold is a metal and it is heavy that paper but they are they will be ignoring it but <laughs> only very few people will do that so this bot is kind of giving the same answer but this answer is not correct right so it seems that uh, it was trained on the conversation of those kind of people who think gold is a heavy thing and gold will always uh, gold will always have some higher uh, heavier weight right so i would suggest you guys to please do try this chatbot and you can ask him some really good questions like uh, who is stronger men or women so it does give very good answer who is stronger a man or a woman so right obviously a anyone can be a stronger depends on men or women and it does give a really good answer in that case it's taking time so this AI bot is really good compared to the previous bots and it is really good as compared to Google because Google may not give you the uh, solutions to these kind of programming stuffs, right? So do ask it some more complicated programming stuffs to see. Okay, so it is not accurate to say one gender is inherently stronger than other men and women have different physical characteristics and strengths. It is not fair to make a generalization about this. Okay, so this, like, this answer does uh, does indicate that this AI bot is really good as compared to the previous bot. It is able to uh, use brain like some other humans, right? So, thank you guys. And please, uh, please mention your experiences with this bot in the comment section.